God, my head is big on this thing. Oh. There. Hey, Mike. Those were special effects. You didn't see that. Bottoms up somewhere. There it is. All right. Uh, back in the floor. More special effects. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the show so far. And if you're not, you're still watching. So obviously, it kept your interest. Yeah, it did. To some seriousness, me being serious, you might want to push record on your VCR now. This might be one of those collector's editions. Um, I don't know. Then my normal side, people say something happens when the camera gets turned on me because I'm normally, well, I'm not a quiet person, but I actually am normal. Write that down and push that record on that. Mm, collector's edition, yeah. And, um, a lot of people, you know, express their pain through smoking and drinking and cutting themselves and hurting themselves. And great way to release your anger. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my girlfriend dumped me. God, you can get laid by somebody else. I can't stand it. Wow. <laughs> I got nothing. Someone else to bitch about. Uh, I'm like, I'm bleeding. Um, um, I'm uh, uh, go kill yourself or whatever. Um, Oh, you should. You don't know the expression in the background of a person's pain that led them to the final destruction of himself. You know, it solves nothing except that you're more hurt or dead. But I don't know. I never cut myself or threw myself against the wall because I didn't want a headache and I want to spend money on Tylenol on to buy a soda. <laughs> this kind of freestyle because this is how I was feeling and I don't know, God told me this or something and I felt I should express my pain. I didn't rehearse this before I record because um, I want to read what I wrote and uh, I mean I read what I wanted to say obviously but um, I want to read, identify my own self and try to express it off of this paper that I wrote. He was really unorganized. This is how I do it. I do things different. Like having these copycats and imitate other rappers get popular, I'm doing my own thing. So, if this is ticking you off good, you're going to watch it and get more mad. It's about an identity, and, um, identity, and is it a cure or is it a crisis? And the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, there's lights in the back, i got to fix that. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a part. It's a part of being acceptance. Um, when we wake up, it's more of a. You know, we live in a lifestyle that has to be convenience and what makes an individual happy. And um, and it's just accommodated by your surroundings and what is most convenient with you. Um, some people might like to go get a newspaper and get a, and, uh, at a newsstand to get the coffee they wanted, where most would have the automated coffee and the newspaper sent to them. And, um, you know, a lot of people complain in relationships about selfishness and, uh, about, um, their own, you know, uh, selfishness, but yet we're all selfish. And, uh, you can't get away from selfishness because selfishness is in your own impulsive thinking and it's uh, created by your surroundings and what your situation is at the second your, your situation occurs and uh and it can be destructive and it could be uh, helpful and it could be both and um the reason why i want to talk about this is because we um uh, you know weather has a lot to do with it our own happiness has to do with our own actions and if we're eating right and exercising right too um, you know, most people are depressed when they're not, when they're hungry, or they don't have nothing to do. Um, the thing that confuses me the most is how come a lot of our houses in our neighborhood have their own basketball hoops when younger children in our days used to go to the local park with the local kids and all play basketball sharing one hoop. Now we share our own hoops because maybe we don't have the don't have the time to walk 10 minutes or don't feel like walking 10 minutes um, to go to the local park and play basketball and we have a hoop out front because it's convenient and it's selfish and another thing too is uh, 
you know, our TV has a lot to do with the um, majority of our kids' obesity. And, um, you know, and, uh, a lot of kids get more sick and are not as healthy because we are not active.